feeds off your negative emotions. Fear, guilt, anger, paranoia drains them out of its prey. Mm, it's a sort of emotional vampire. It changes shape to provoke a negative emotion. In Lister's case, it took him to the very limit of his terror, and then sucked out his fear. So now Lister's got no sense of fear? Precisely. What are we going to do? <sighs> well, I say let's get out there and twat it. <laughs> Lister, you're ill. Just relax and leave this to us. I could have had it in the sleeping quarters, but you saw it. You saw it. It took me by surprise. Lister, it turned into an eight-foot-tall, armor-plated alien killing machine. <laughs> Once a Barney, we'll give it one. One swift knee and a happy sax, it'll drop like anyone else. Fine, but we'll bear that in mind when we're planning our strategy. I'm going to rip out its windpipe and beat to the death with a tonsil end. Yes, yes, very good. I'm going to stick my fist so far down its gob I'll be able to pull a label off its underpants. <laughs> yes, yes, I cried to... Stop, pal. You start in trouble. <laughs> Just a little something to calm you down, sir. Come on, then, all of you slags. <laughs> all together, or one at a time. I don't care. It's all the same to me. I'm... <laughs> uh, thank God for that. Right. As far as I can see it, we have two options. One, take it on and kill it. Or two, run away. <laughs> Who's for two? <laughs> uh, two sounds pretty good to me, sir. It's always been my lucky number. Right, well, let's load up Starbuck and get out of here. Right. What about Lister? Oh, just seal the hatch from the inside. He'll be safe here until we're ready to go. Remember, it's out there, and it could be anything. Let's move it. Oh, what about the Space Corps Directive, which states it is our primary overriding duty to contact other life forms, exchange information, and, wherever possible, bring them home? What about the Rimmer Directive? which states, never tangle with anything that's got more teeth than the entire Osmond family. 